Get we just it. we just not even no, playing today. No chit chat, no small talk. Um, we got top tier versus top tier right now. Oh, period. As a period. Caruso versus Panini. Um, very Italian sounding match. Uh, <laughs> I mean, sure. Um, our P Paninis are Italian, right? I think so. They sound Italian, <laughs> and Caruso sounds like an Italian name. Well, I mean, sure. I'm not Italian. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I can't actually I, this, tell you about that. I'm half Italian, so I, I have good jurisdiction on this. Anyways, Period. we have a, a top tier matchup of Joker and Roy. Um, a matchup that, oh, actually, we did not get to see at the most recent Ultimate Summit because Leo opted to go Pyra and Mithra. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah. It, this is a matchup that I know Roy mains t can complain about a lot. I know Cola mm -hmm. is not huge on this matchup. Mm -hmm. and I think a large part of that is due to Joker's really consistent gimping power on Roy. Mm -hmm. There's very little Roy can do to mix up a large gun being pointed downwards. So it, it's tough for him to get back on stage. Um, and it's also tough for him to get like the hilt hitbox on such like the skinny, agile um, character that is Joker. I mean, yeah. But I mean, if I'm going to be completely honest... It's it's Roy. It's yeah, the big Roy baby. can always win. Roy can always win for sure. Listen, Roy, I don't know what's so scary about Roy, but now I know to never be at ledge. And that's exactly what, Ooh. you know, Panini is doing because they know they don't want to be at ledge, especially against Carusi or Carusu. Oh, I Caruso. said Caruso. I'm sorry. Carusu sounds significantly less Italian. <laughs> so probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but for sure, you're going to both be at, um, you know, two stocks um, to a piece. And I kind of like the way that Panini's playing this. Just playing it with the way, you know, Joker should be able to do it. Especially considering, you know, how um, Karusu kind of needs to stay at a consistent, you know, space whenever they're actually getting ledge trapped. So that's just good on their part for, um, like, you know, ledge trapped or get, not getting ledge trapped. And just getting their, you know, back to stage pretty well. Yeah, right there we saw a retreating side B. Um, just like you said, not getting ledge trapped. And, ooh, nice dash backs to bait out that get up attack and um, dash attacking it. And I think if I'm gonna, we're gonna be completely honest, if we're talking about, ooh, is that gonna, ooh, no. no tip, or no hilt. It's so sad, but if we're gonna be talking about, you know, like, what Roy kind of needs to do in order to actually not really be in all of these ledge trap situations, they're gonna not try to roll like that. It's kind of one of those things where it's just like, you know, as, as aggressive you, can be you kind of like need to be a little bit less aggressive especially in matchups where you know it's just like either your advantage has to overwhelm that it doesn't really matter you know at that point or it's just you have to like make it so that like if you're not going to be overwhelming then you know maybe just like not spam a million buttons but uh, we're also talking about right here so uh yeah <laughs> it's it's all about spamming correctly you know? yeah absolutely you, if you're gonna spam do it correctly do it right back air oh yeah Period. Good job hitting that. It's a little bit tough so close to the stage because you have very little space to turn around. So clearly a, a somewhat seasoned Roy. Mm -hmm. They got their Jairos on point. And you got to have your Jairos on point. It's so crucial to be able to close out stocks at the most optimal percents. Otherwise, Roy mm -hmm. can does have a disadvantage that can get away from him. He can like lose stocks really quickly. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm not entirely sure why they actually went to the stage because I honestly feel like Joker's... Stage isn't really um, Smashville. There we go. Um, a lot of stages, I feel like Joker kind of does struggle on when it comes to like you know um, FD Smashville. Thank you, um, Sonic oh. Fiend, for the subscription. Period. Oh, and a nice comeback from Caruso. Caruso. Not Caruso. Caruso. Uh, and whatever I said because we don't know what the heck I said. <laughs> yeah. Um, a really good dash. Actually, uh. Joker took a stock with a dash back F smash, and Roy took a stock with a dash back F smash. So um, it kind of goes back to what you were saying about how they both love to be at center stage because they don't want to be on the ledge against each other. But that constant trying to get to set center stage had mm -hmm. resulted in both of them dying right there. But Caruso ended up being on the winning side of that exchange. Um, so it's going to be up. I think you're gonna, if Panini mm. counterpicking is going to want more space on a stage and for sure. And they're going right back to Smashville. I'm or gonna they're confident. I'm going to be completely honest. What kind of happened there was, you know, um, they were getting ledge trapped. and Or they were trying to ledge trap. And when it comes to, like, this stage, you have one platform. So you have a, a pretty good amount of platforms to actually go to. But they're not really taking into consideration, like, a lot of what their ledge traps and hold. You know what I mean? Yeah. I so, agree. I would just like to see a little bit better ledge trapping because this is where Roy kills people. <laughs> and you don't want to be 
on the ledge against Roy. <laughs> yeah, right here. Oh, that was a really good option to down tilt because they saw how much um, Kurusu was just doing jump aerials, so you can just slide right under with Joker. And they've been uh, really off with these guns this whole set. They've usually been too preemptive, but right there, actually baiting out a high recovery by jumping off stage. Gonna get an early stock for Panini right here, but Roy can bring this back. Mm -hmm, absolutely, and getting into this, like, you know, second stock, not gonna get that Jair just entirely. And oh, wow! wow. Ooh, and the kill, too! That. You, did I s anyways, uh, anyways, um, you know, that was kind of cute. I was not expecting, you know, that's actually kill or even two frame for that matter. Yeah, I mean, I I think um it was said in Summit commentary, but like every Roy goes for that, like it never hits. So to see it actually hit is um, I mean, pretty crazy. I don't really mind like the usage of it. It's just, but like yeah, it no, hit. they actually hit it. They, they hit it. It's it's a lot easier, I will say, on the Arsene mm -hmm. upbeat. Um, it's much more easy to react to where when Joker's gonna grab ledge. But really good stuff from Caruso managing to even it back up, and that could have been an extension off that nair. They decided to just stand still. And you know what the thing is too, that like whenever they're ledge trapping, they're choosing to ledge trap with a lot of like stuff like you know nair, you know down so when they can actually just use that as a mix up. You know what I mean? Oh, oh wow. wow, that almost was dead. That's so crazy. Like oh, you imagine using, it again. Imagine using this as like a ledge trap, right? And then just making them scared to actually do anything, right? Because like, what if you actually get hit by you know that um what it blazing blade? I feel like that would. The side B, you know, or the no, neutral um, B? Um, it, it's some variation the, the of dancing Roy blade for side B, but like, um, double edge dance or something. I think. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, whatever. Um, neutral B from Roy. Yeah, it is a threat because also there's no lag on it. So even mm -hmm. if you do whiff it, you're not gonna get punished. You can even bait out get up attacks. That too, like it's literally such a good tool to ledge trap with, and it's like they're kind of trying to use it, but not re are really using it now. Which is really good, but like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, and a lot of uh, both Kurusu and Panini, when edge guarding, they've been going out really preemptively, um, which is a, then there's no mix up of where they're gonna be, and the other player can just react, so. I'm gonna, I would like to see them stay on ledge a bit when the other opponents are covering more, like the neutral B from Kurusu. But this is a... Ooh, that was really important to get that upper right there, because um, if you, you could have gotten comboed with Arson, lose Arson, and then be at such a huge deficit, so it was really good to close out that stock. Also smart on Kurusu to just wait the Arson out. Absolutely. I also feel like, you know, Panini could be choosing a lot better. I mean, they're already just 66, sure. Yeah, do 66%. But I'm going to be completely honest, when they don't actually have, you know, Arsene, they still have a lot of tools to actually kind of avoid, Ooh. you know, a lot of what, you know, Roy can actually hit you with. So we'd just like to see that a little bit more. And right there, Kurusu positioned himself to cover roll. The Joker rolled and he jumped mm -hmm. fa uh, fared, which shows that he's not really trying to react on ledge, but go for reads. And I don't know if I agree with that with Roy. I feel like you're in, when you're at such a strong position, like at, when your opponent's on ledge, you gotta be a bit more reaction based. Imagine using like four back airs and not even hitting one of them. That's uh, <laughs> Joker, Joker can do that. I mean, you're you're right. Joker can do that, but still. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, that oh, could have no. been it. That could have been it right there. The the one backer you wanted to hit. <laughs> oh, oh no! I oh, think God. I was trying to do a drag down and up smash, but uh, up tilt came out instead. And this is tense. Oh, oh. the one time you miss it is for the stock. And good clutch arson right there coming in right th um to buff the side B. I don't know if Caruso was ready for that. And now they know Caruso's pressing buttons at ledge. And it's really good to understand, you know. <laughs> oh God. They both don't want to be near each other. <laughs> Thank you. I was waiting for the F tilt. They like did 700 back airs. And then I'm just like, oh, okay. Oh, that could have been the stop. If only if it was F tilt. But either way. Oh, not going to kill you? Yeah, but way. probably the only move that could have encountered did not kill Roy was Nair 1 right there. Okay. Don't tell me that killed. Yeah. That was instant double jump back air out of shield. How does that hit? What? Joker's is that his back thing? is really, really good. Um, okay, yeah, we've been new, but like, is this double jump back air? I, I think they were just probably trying to double jump back air. I feel like that was not intentional. It's a double jump. They were probably just mashing jump out of shield. But like, but yeah, it, it, it's still a thing. I I'm entirely confused. 
I maybe I don't know Joker as much as I thought I knew Joker. Maybe yeah. This is this is about you. You gotta reflect on this set now. Learn learn from it. What? Dang, I didn't know I wasn't I wouldn't know I was playing this game. Dang. <laughs> I mean like maybe I could the, be this, good at this game, I'm but saying, like this is your chance. I, I, this is your this, chance. This, to this, learn let the me Joker. tell you about this game, right? This game is some like top tier. Y'all thought this was like Summit? No, this is better than Summit. This is like freaking Genesis 9. This is some next not, level not type even, of games. Wait, not even eight. <laughs> No, because we already yeah. had Genesis 8. Did we? Yeah, that's the one that Mars won. I thought it was 7. Whatever. Really? I don't know. I, I might I might be wrong. <laughs> but getting into this next game, we're on Small Battlefield. And speaking of Ooh, Small Battlefield, I, I definitely like this, you know, a lot better. Because although that one game made it a little bit harder for, you know, people to actually, like, kind of... Ooh, you had the read, but that's just, that's a pretty much, like, almost luck and timing to hit right there. It's actually a little bit harder to hit a lot of like the no wow that killed. I mean, I don't know what, what percent was that at? like a hundred. Oh, okay, so that that makes sense that it would yeah. get. Either way, like when it comes to timing, like tilts on like you know the ledge, it's kind of like weird because it's just like they're not out long enough to actually like hit. Like aside from like you know Palutena like down tilt, like you know well I mean a lot of Roy Nair too if we're gonna be talking about it, but that stuff like that is just like you know you have to like have a lot of long-lasting hitbox in order to actually catch stuff like that. Yeah, and I don't think Roy's up smash lasts that long, so that, that was pretty good timing, but also kind of inconsistent timing, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, that, I don't know if that would have been the stock. Actually, probably would have been small oh. battlefield. Wow, got that down air. Not going to get the spike hitbox. However, we're in a very bad situation for Karusi. No, Karusi. Panini. Oh, 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 I thought you meant the stock. Huh? Well, Sorry. <laughs> Um, but they were, oh, they're definitely looking like they are in a bad spot right now. Anything will kill. And that was a very nice, um, dancing blade off stage right there. That was, a, or onto stage, but that was really nice. Ooh, okay. Just kind of getting some, a little bit of, you know. Oh, not killing. Surprising. Oh. Both of them rolling back, but. Joker having the better roll and being closer to the stage. Oh. Like, gonna catch that right away. Okay. We've been rolling in this entire set, and both players have been punishing each other for it, and it's nothing's changed. I mean. So, I guess for uh, Caruso, though, with the lead, you'll take trading stocks. Mm hmm. But right here, 60% on Roy almost, so this could be the start of something good. Because if you can take the stock and start the next stock with, stock with Arsene, mm -hmm. it can be a totally different game. Honestly, and to that note, you know, when it kind of comes to Panini being at ledge, they can just avoid, you know, a lot of stuff. Not even just like a cooling, because they've been kind of being more consistent with how they actually get back onto ledge. And granted, they've punished it a few times. I feel like they would need a little bit more mix up to actually get back to stage and just try and control center stage. That would be probably be not, especially with the Joker back air and That's a Joker dead. counter too. What you. Oh, you, you, thought you, you was can't choke that. There's only one place Roy could have be there. Oh, okay, well, that's been <laughs> at the stock. First time I think we've seen down guns work this set, at least as an edge guard. And the, f the thing about the, I, I'm going to be completely honest, it looks like every time I see that from a Joker player, right? Yeah. Oh, that was a very call out right there. But every time I see it from a Joker, I'm just like, okay, so can you cancel it early? Or can you, like, not? But either way, it looks like they can definitely cancel it a lot earlier than yeah. people think. And it's such a good like mix-up, especially when landing, because it's Joker. Why not? Yeah, you can cancel it pretty quickly into an aerial, which is like why like down gun into background shield can be such a strong landing tool for Joker. And um, Caruso has a nice lead right here, but um, he kind of got stringed nearly to death last stock, so he's got to make sure not to let himself get carried away, because this is Arsene right now, and now you're on the platform, and now you're up smash, and now you're at kill percent, and now this is mm. an even game. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> they uh, took definitely too long to kill right there. Ooh. Oh, Caruso's and been, or Panini's been really antsy with edge guards, going for stuff super early. I mean, for sure. They definitely need to... Oh. That was so sad. Yeah, I don't know if that was the best DI right mm -hmm. there. It seemed a little iffy. It seems a little uh, scary right there. Yeah, that's that's a really like that's what I was talking about earlier. Where mm -hmm. you gotta make sure you close out against Joker because Arson will simply just come and take your whole life. So 
I mean, who doesn't want their whole life taken by like this big demon thingy? That it's not really. Um, what is it? What is it's a persona? I, I, okay, I I forgot. It's like that. a reflection of like your true self. 